Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to a storage video. Um, yeah, storage solution video, storage idea video. I forgot what I call this series. Anyways, um, as the last video, storage video for 2020, I decided to give you a glimpse of how I store my finished scrapbook pages. You've seen me show you how I store multiple scrapbook products, but now I'm gonna show you where my finished layouts are housed. Now, I'm gonna give, gonna give you a big overview. This is actually a, um, a shelf that I had my husband make. So I kind of designed it with the scrapbook scrapbooks in mind. Um, we used to have one of those, you know, it's just a kind of cheap shelving where particle board and it's just my scrapbooks was just too heavy for my um, for my shelves and so he built this in I believe it's 2016 I want to say but it's basically three parts you have that one part two and three and what it is is you have this top shelf that actually houses books and whatnot and it's it's narrower let me go sideways so it's narrower and then it goes wide because it needs to fit my scrapbooks. My problem with this is as you can see, it's kind of filled up already. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna have to rethink this idea and see what else we can do. But this is actual in a, like real, real wood and so it's heavier, I mean it's, it's stronger I should say and it houses my albums. Now, um, when I started scrapbooking, um, I didn't have the end in mind, so I really wasn't thinking about the colors of albums and whatnot. But now that I've been scrapbooking for about, my, my oldest son is 17, so I've been scrapbooking for 16 years. I kind of know what I want and I kind of have a plan now, but these albums right here are like eight and a half by 11 and mini albums that I have. Um, and then the I reserved the black and the brown for family albums. So it goes from 2002. And yes, some of them are labeled because I got really organized one year and then stopped doing it. <laughs> so there's, um, there's some browns and blacks, but I reserved browns and blacks for families. You can see these are not labeled yet. <laughs> and then I have some of these postbound albums because I used to start with postbound but now I like the three ring because I don't scrapbook chronologically so I like the idea or the ease of being able to move them from the day um, from the spaces or the dates the albums that they should go into without having to take out the um, the posts so these are post bound but they have like my like my like self layouts if you want to call them and then down here, so all of my pinks are my daughters, blues are my first son, and then the green is my second son. So he has that. That's his baby album, and then this one is his album. As you can see, <laughs> he only has two albums, and then the rest have a lot. So I've yet to catch up on Mason's stuff, but that is all my albums. And as you can see, there's not a lot of room yet, but... I'm just showing you how I store them because I am getting ready to organize a few more um, layouts into albums. Now, one more thing I wanna show you, this big basket right here, and it's huge. As you can see, it fills up the whole space. That has all of my mini albums. There was a time when mini albums was a big thing, right? And we would make lots of mini albums. Now, I like the idea of having one theme, like say if we go to a a big trip or something and then I make a mini album for that. I like that idea, but the problem was I was getting too excited with mini albums that I would like, you know, like um, say for example, for example, this mini album right here, it just has pictures of us when we went to a park, right? Like why do I need this thick of a, of a album? for a park when I could have used one single double double page layout for for that. But again, <laughs> I wasn't thinking, I was into um, 
I was into the fads back then and also because I was designing for companies and so like I think this particular project was a, a designer project I can't remember but again um, I love mini albums I think they're great they have their purpose but for me personally I would rather just put them in double page layouts or in single page layouts than put them in bulky stuff like that although I have to say like I have this okay this is my December daily for what year is this 2012 doesn't have a date anyways I like this for like December and stuff but honestly I wouldn't do it oh 2012 honestly I can't do it all the time just because I'm running out of space for that right and even with my albums I'm running out of space so again that's how I store my albums and let me swing really slowly it's my kitchen this table right here this is my project today guys all of these iris containers and this box and this box right here holds finished layouts that I have to organize and maybe if I have some steam left, I will show you kind of a glimpse of my process. But basically, I organize them either by dates, like years, or by person um, in my family. And then when I have, like, I have a stack of 2018, then I organize them by month and all that good stuff. And then I put them in their respective albums. Hey friends, this is Grace, and I decided to show you what my progress is. It's a big mess. So I had put them in piles. This is a year. That's a year. That's another year. This one's a big year, 2018. Um, the most recent years will have a lot because I haven't started an album for those yet. And then as you can see, this one's a tiny one that's probably, I think, 2015 or 16. So I've started an album for that already. And then this one's 2019. And I am putting together 20, like slipping in some 2011 and 2012. And this is what I was talking to you guys about how um, I like the three ring binders is because when um, I, like I create a layout, like the one layout or two layout that I still have to put in that year, I can just open this one versus if post bound that it will be a struggle. Now I do invest in a lot of these sheet protectors and I usually just buy them at Amazon, but recently I bought a bunch at an Echo Park sale and they were like $3 for a pack of 10, I wanna say, so I bought 50 packs. And um, I also wanted to show you that this album host or house 2011 and 2012 say this is the end of 2011 as you can see christmas and then i have 2012 i usually have a front page for that year just to give it um kind of a, a divider and so this is my 2012 page and it's kind of i know that you can you can have that like you see that um, the glare of the plastic because it's already in a sheet protector but that's what I do and so you probably have seen me create some of these I call this my front page for my album so what I usually grab is the leftover pictures from that year and then I create a title page or a front page for that year so not necessarily that this will be the front page of the album because like i said sometimes they're all mixed just depending on how many that i've created for that particular year but i will always have a front page for the year just to have a division for that and so again a look at all my messes and another thing that i've discovered while i was sorting this is um i am i'm trying to be better at this but there were a few um, I would say maybe 10 to 12 layouts that did not have any dates and that's a big thing especially because I do not scrap chronologically 
and so I need those dates to be able to organize them plus I found maybe three or four that did not have any journaling <gasps> I know it's kind of um, I don't know what I was doing but I'm going to show you the table so I've um, finally um, taken all of the layouts from there and then on the table I have a stack for my three kids and then just some other stuff but I mostly put them on the floor because I am working on the floor so again that is the um, update on how I am organizing this and when it's all done maybe I'll show it to you again all right Hey friends, this is Grace. It's the day after and it took me about four hours in total of putting all of the layouts into the albums. And I have to say, I did not get to put all of them in the, in the albums because A, I didn't have, either I didn't have enough albums or, and or I didn't have any, enough sheet protectors. I did go through, I want to say at least 75 sheet protectors. So that was a lot of filing away but again i'm just going to give you a little bit of close-up of the way i organize or where i put my finished layouts i still have yet to label them i just ran out of steam because yesterday it was a long day of putting them into albums i did order these two albums here from amazon just maybe a couple of days ago and it came in the mail yesterday just in time for me to file some layouts in it. So I believe these ones hold my 2018 and then this one's 2019. So yes, it seems like I need two for each um, year. And then of course, these ones are just my album and my husband's album. I just try to like, I used to do post bound, um, but I don't anymore. But because I had them, I'm just using them for me and my husband just because we don't have a lot of layouts of us. And then, um, as you can see here, I've moved my, my youngest son's album because I need a pink one for my daughter because um, I needed to file some of her layouts. And then I moved my other son's albums over here as well as a red one, which I think I put it for me. So those are my kind of a see-through or a, not a see but a process of how I put together or organize my finished layouts. If you have any questions, make sure to leave that in the comment section below and I will catch you guys another day. Bye.